Well, ladies and gentlemen, below there, and below the right of us, and I'd just like to start off by saying the wonderful head of Essex, who is the unofficial mum of our year, that she will be listening on with critical ears, that I have not winged my speech. I couldn't have it written down. <laughs> and I'm struggling to read it. <laughs> I thought some of my speech should really reflect my time here at Brady High School. But then I realised I don't need to be standing here saying, I'm really sorry, I promise I'll have it in first time tomorrow morning. <laughs> but no, I thought for a long time as I lay in bed this morning about what I would say tonight. <laughs> and what came to mind was that I should really just tell you how this year has went for Brady High and my ex But this year, as with many other years, it had its ups and downs. But my life as head boy, there's been plenty of ups. There's been great moments, great memories, and great achievements. Our exit has worked surprisingly well together, and yes, this smile is genuine. <laughs> We've raised a substantial amount of money for various charities over the course of the year, and most of the which went to the Cystic Fibrosis Research Fund, the charity very close to our exit for personal reasons of one of our pupils. But along with the charity events, we've also had great fun and light in defeating our teachers, not just once in a football versus staff competition, but twice. <laughs> Most of the football match, where I myself play a very moderate eight-minute cameo role as a football player. <laughs> but I usually came playing to be more of a rugby man so that I can defend my own the physique. <laughs> All that aside, what I want to say while I'm up here very quickly is that there is one fantastic people that I want to give my personal shout out to in thanks, and that's a big on the move. As you heard, one prize or outstanding contribution to our exits. Habiba has played a very critical role, and I myself didn't even realise how big a part he played. He organised helped run and participated in almost every event this year. And how far our year put would be even more delayed, but I heard it coming in this company's fault. <laughs> and the hoodies, well, as with any other thing I name on, it would probably be spelled wrong. <laughs> but I think that you've never been given the fullest of thanks that you deserve. And not just for myself, but for my ex to be there. I want to thank you. Now finally, as I can see my dad was listening to my mum, who <laughs> all this is going to be wonderful. It's not just all the time. I want to say my last few things. And I want to steal a little bit from our guest speaker. So I apologise if I take a small detour, I'm going to go off on tangents. But I've got something that I'd like to pass on to all the prize runners. When I was the portal, my big sister too, I knew she'd be here tonight to be ready for the bars of the museum. She would go to the brownies. And I had to go through to the Browns to live next door. An elderly couple by the name of Bert and Andre. And between our three powerful imaginations, we'd be off on some sort of adventure in the streets of Wuthering. One week it would be a plane ride made of other chairs. The next it would be an exotic jungle. It would be anywhere we wanted to be. Any scenario we would live out. But sadly, Bert Brown passed away when I started playing this show. But I continue to go through every Friday night, and the event just continue to start with one less friend. Now, don't even the start of the year, and I need to add that my Friday night playtime had ceased for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Brown gave me a card to say well done when I became there for it. And inside, on this scrap of paper, she left me a message. And everything it said on it was meant for me. But it's my first. Everything it meant to me, I hope it means to you as well. So what I wanted to say about two or three pages back, <laughs> this is it. I hope it's right now. <laughs> you can do anything if you have enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the yeast that makes your hopes rise to the start. Enthusiasm is the sparkle in your eyes, the swing in your gait. The grip in your hand, the irresistible surge of will and energy to execute your ideas. Enthusiasts are fighters. They are fortitude. They are staying qualities. 
Enthusiasm is at the bottom of all your progress. With it, you can accomplish anything. Without it, you have only an alibi. Winning you the prize here tonight is the evidence that shows that you have enthusiasm. Now, whether you're an exit, being forced out the door after tonight, or a first year, I've been said to say in college, but dragged through the door on a Monday morning, <laughs> always remember, put everything you can give into life, and it will give you back what you deserve. Go in half heartedly, and it will treat you the same. Now, these words were very, very special to me when they were and I will take this paper through my life with me. I'm going to put it in a poly box. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.